Hi, I'm Laura. Um, I was introduced to the mental health system when I was 17, after I tried to commit suicide. Every day, I thought about dying, where when I was 21, it, I kind of really had to look at my life and say, what direction do you want to go in? Do you want to stay in the mental health system your entire life? Or do you want to actually try to have a life worth living? And I did pretty well, but my life wasn't very full to any extent. Really, it was go to work, come home, and go back to work. I didn't really develop a lot of relationships because when you're in that situation, you get a really severe sense of abandonment. I'm still afraid. I'm, I'm afraid every day. I'm afraid of, you know, what if I do this wrong? Or what if this person leaves me? I spend so much of my time questioning instead of actually living the life that I want. Over the last four years, I've been hospitalized three times. Each time I'm hospitalized, I learn a little bit more about myself, but I also have to deal with the past. So really, it's been a journey for the last few years of trying to learn skills to try to find that life that I really, that I really want. Different times in my life, different treatments have worked. Um, when I was hospitalized as a teenager, they used a milieu-based treatment. It was really all about talking about how you felt. In my later years, um, DBT has been very helpful. Really, their whole premise is to find skills to deal with your emotions in a way where you don't end up in the hospital and you don't end up doing anything self-destructive. I've used a ton of different medications over the years and some medications have worked and some have not. I've used ECT, which is electroconvulsive therapy um, or otherwise known as shock treatments. I've done that once in 2014 and once recently in 2017. One of the things that I've done to help myself over the last few years is I've gotten involved in crafts. I have actually taken the DBT classes and I've made my own manuals. I learned how to make crisis boxes. I've actually gone to the hospital and taught them how to make the patients how to make them. I teach them how to make vision boards. Um, there's so many things, there's so many ways that I can give back. I believe life can always be better. Um, it's never gonna be exactly what I want it to be probably. I don't even strive to be happy. I just strive to be content in my life. I strive to be surrounded by people that care about me. I strive to have a good job and I just strive to be me. You're not gonna believe how many people out there have a mental illness. They say one in four, it's probably even more than that. With mental illness, people think that there's something that we're doing wrong or something that we're doing different and we're not treated the same. We're not just the crazy people that shoot up the schools. So much is not known by people that don't have it because they don't understand. If you think that some of what I'm saying stays with you and you wonder if like, maybe my daughter has a mental illness or maybe my wife or whoever, there's help out there. It, there's nothing to be ashamed of.